Hello everyone, Brian Tulsa here, and uh, yes, yes, it's raining again, but uh, my daughter and I are about to start on a four-day excursion down Route 66, starting in my own city, because Route 66 passes through my own city, conveniently, and I'm inviting you to all to go along. Yes, it's raining again, of course it's raining again, it would be, wouldn't it? So. Anyway, I'm pretty much packed and ready to go, so while all these suckers get ready to go to work, let's go on an adventure. Here we are once again at Pops in Arcadia, Oklahoma, and uh, they are not open yet, so I guess we won't go inside and get some sodas, but we'll try to catch them on the way back. I knew some locations wouldn't be open um, on the way out, uh, at least at this end of the trip, because we did leave rather early, uh, but that's okay. Uh, we will catch them on the flip side, but uh, yeah, there is Route 66 right there. And uh, we came from that direction. We will be going in that direction. Uh, but we're pausing for a moment at Pops. Please do not climb on walls. If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. And there is the, the big soda bottle. I have been in here several times, so this is not new to me, but they have uh, zillions and zillions of bottles of specialty sodas so that's kind of uh, that's their specialty they also have like a diner counter there so you can have lunch but it's way too early for lunch right now not getting gas here for one thing I don't need it and it's also really expensive they do have a gas station here so you know you can stop for gas at this location if you need to uh, but we're gonna pause for a minute and then we're gonna head off uh, west to the next destination. Okay, we are at uh, Tower Station and you drop in in Shamrock, Texas. We drove through a massive storm and of course that should be expected. The one thing I can't control, the weather, will definitely be bad if I plan a trip. That's just how it works. Uh, but we're, uh, we're here at Tower Station and you drop in, so let's check that out. Uh, this is one of our stops. Let's not forget Bill Mack, the Midnight Cowboy. He's not ready at 11.30, nor 11.45, but at midnight, that's when he switches on. Memories of Bill. Oh, cool. I do like these little markers here to uh, remember uh, important people. Hey, 
Hey, he met Dolly Parton. In case you forgot where we are, we're um, we're in Texas. This is supposed to look really cool when it's lit up at night. Western Motel there. That's a that's a happy ATM. It's not one of your ordinary sad ATMs, but that's a happy ATM. An old Studebaker. Visitor Information Center. Uh, Shamrock Texas gift shop and they are open so we'll probably go in there sure sure let's let's swap sandwiches and, and uh, yeah you, you try mine I'll try yours This is the gift shop. Some artwork. Dig that sign. Coffee mugs. I do coffee mugs. I may. We're going to be passing through here again on the way back. I may get a coffee mug. t-shirts okay that was the the you drop in and uh, tower station had lunch there it was really good I got myself a glass bottle of Pepsi uh, but now it's time to hit the road so we can stay on schedule. many more things to do and see the Cadillac Ranch. It is cold and rainy and noisy. I was all concerned about it being too hot when we got here, but it's cold. It's like really cold and, and wet. They've got some some souvenirs there, and I guess we can buy could buy a spray paint there, but we've got our own, huh? I I don't know is the answer to that, but as you can see, it's like this huge field, like really big, and then right there in the middle. There are these old Cadillacs sticking up out of the ground. I thought it was going to be hot in June. Silly me. What a ridiculous idea that it would be hot in June. picked a day when it wasn't going to be too crowded. There's yours. Looks really nice. I like it. There is my HCC 788. Not that it will be there for very long. 
All right, that's that's the last of it. Now, let, let's get back in the car where it's warm. Let's do that. We made it to the hotel. Uh, we're gonna unpack a bit and relax for a little bit. Uh, it's cold, it's unseasonably cold. And of course, when I was planning this trip months ago, there's no way of knowing that it was going to be unseasonably cold. It's just one of those things that happens. You can't control it, it's the weather. Uh, that's not that big a deal though. So what, it, it'll warm up, not, not a big deal. What was a big deal was the torrential downpour that we had to drive through to get here. Uh, I did not catch very much of that on camera because it, it was a lot of rain. It was a little bit dangerous and I was focusing on driving. Now I am a very experienced driver. I've driven through all kinds of nasty weather. I can do it. That doesn't mean I like to do it though. That was not fun. Uh, every time I drive through weather like that, I think, wow, I hope I never have to do that again for the rest of my life. And then on the next road trip I take, I get to do it again. It's like every time. But it's fine. We made it. We're going to unwind. Then we have dinner planned, and I'm going to take you along for that. Okay, we have arrived at the Big Texan. I like the understated color scheme. I, I like that it's not too flashy. Very classy. I'm trying to stay out of the way of traffic. But I want to check this out. I have, I have not seen this. have a large cow, that's where they get the large steaks. That's my timer. Here we go. And that's it. I failed the 72 ounce steak challenge as I knew I would. That's a lot of food. I will say the steak was pretty good. It was a good steak, but it was a lot of it. I got the leftovers and I got a boot cup. I got a boot cup and a t-shirt. That's the end of day one of our Route 66 trip. Uh, we'll start it again tomorrow and we'll see what adventures we have uh, on day two. So I'll see you then.